or let's build one zero two and we're gonna go over and actually start doing some building today before uh, I get started on that I want to go over some basic construction ideas um, and easier if I just kind of fly around and show you but I'll give you a look at the, the front of the castle again so you guys can take a look so kind of review a little bit um, I've done not much off camera um, and the reason for that is I really want to have you guys come along with me um, so I'm going to pop back into our first person mode you'll be able to see and we'll take a little bit of flying here so I did this glass window and I really like the look of it because most cathedrals should have glass in them and as we discussed the before this is going to be the center point now I haven't done much else I did do some layout and I highly suggest when you're building a project plan a sort of layout um, so this is going to be the basic rectangular shape that we're going to follow okay um, this would be if you were building a house your foundation your standard rectangular shape foundation. Uh, I'm actually in, currently I am a builder of homes in real life, so a lot of these principles are brought over from that experience. Um, if we look here, you'll see a basic rectangular shape. A basic rectangular shape is gonna give you a couple of things. Uh, we're gonna give you an easier way to lay out your roof lines, uh, and a good solid way to build off of. Uh, doing angular structures in Minecraft are a little more difficult, but not entirely impossible. So what this would actually be, and I haven't done it by number yet, so the length may change slightly, one or two blocks or what have you, but basically this would be the same the other end of the rectangle so if I were to just mark it out for you so that you can see what I'm talking about and I don't mind doing this um, and I actually like I said before highly suggest that everybody do this Okay, so oh, there we go. So now you can see there's a rectangular shape. And we built off of this rectangular shape to build this. This is, uh, would be trim and fascia and that sort of stuff. Um, so typically what I will build in, understanding that this is going to be a standardized shape, I'm gonna actually I think I'm going to try and round this a little more on this side. Um, but I want you guys to see this. You see these poles here? These poles are the center line of this building. And when you're just starting out building or you're building for many years, this is a good place to start. Um, and I will be. I will, okay, I'm back. And. It's daytime again, and I'm sorry about that. I had a uh, somebody was calling me. Uh, so, oh, here we go. So, what were we talking about? We were talking about the center post. Very important. Be in center and in line for your roof lines. And I build very symmetrically, and then adjust from there. So, if you start with a basic structure like a rectangle, like I have here. It's very easy to mimic one side to the other uh, because it's all measured out for you. You already know. So you build what you want to have, like this, front of the building. You build this out to the design aspect. You design it and don't care about the width or the length or whatever. And then, as you come around the back, create your rectangle, like I did. 
here. Put that in there. Created your rectangle. And now I can measure every block off of this and recreate it on the other side. And they will be perfectly symmetrical. This comes in very handy when you're doing your sides because your sides are more symmetrical than the, this like front entry or the rear. Um, on this particular one, we're going to have, uh, as we discussed, possible entries over here. So what you'll see, uh, so that we don't take up too much more time in the video and we can get building, is that uh, we build it out complete and then knock holes in it. It's actually a lot easier. All right. We're going to start there. We're going to actually try to come up with a little side view here real quick. And that will be for today. We're just going to do the design. So a new design. I'd like to start with a flat wall. So I'm going to give myself some room. So we started with our base. We have our foundation base here, which I like to use cobblestone for that. Um, good starter. I'm just going to paint in this wall here a little bit. This is our backer. I use the, the flat stone for a backer because it's flat. We so see it and change it after. Um, this we've already added two dimensions. I'm a three dimensional builder. I don't build one or two dimensions. I like to build three dimensions. So as you can see, this is already starting to have two dimensions, or it does have two dimensions rather. So let me just flatten up this wall a little bit here. Take just a couple of seconds. Creative. Again, people that I running the server for are going to start asking me to do this for them. And here we go. We're almost there. OK, there we go. As you can see, we have a very large area which we can now paint on. It's like having a canvas that we can design on. We haven't changed the structure of the building. The actual building is still exactly the same. We've barely taken up any space inside. This interior wall, I will typically tell people that this interior wall, this wall that I'm looking at right here, this one, you don't change. You keep it as your inside. And that is your basic starting block. You build out from that exterior. So, like this, you build out over it make it look even deeper and have more dimensional. So this is your basic. This is going to, I use this as a gauge. So our, this is our foundation for all our supporting work. For our supporting work, yeah, I'm stone here. Uh, the zombies coming. <laughs> okay, random. They don't typically come after you when you're in creative, but so, uh, I didn't even count numbers. Typically, you want odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. I had twelve. Uh, twelve from there. So, if I put there, that would give us an odd number inside. Oh, wait. Uh, that would give us an even number inside. That would give us an odd number inside. That'll allow us to put a center block, like so. That looks roughly right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. So we're even now. Most churches have something similar to this entryway. It's kind of what we want to create down the side of this, but just to. Do it. Let's add in a center pylon and see how it looks. If it's too wide of an area, looks pretty wide. This is going to be very long, so having it wider might not necessarily be a bad thing. Okay. There we go. 
still doesn't look too too bad. I think that'll be alright. What we'll do is we'll come in here, we'll grab a hold of this guy. Actually using a different tone. Uh, uh nah, I do want this. We'll use a similar tone for right now. We want to kind of match what we have here for lines. You don't have to. We're on the side, we can come up a little bit, and adjust it, and it's still going to look fine because it's separate from the rest of the. I come here and there, and it's five blocks, so. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There we are. Go. The same thing here. Okay. Now, because we decided to go with the center block here, this is what our arches look like. This is the odd number. Now, I want to change this here to show me what an even number would look like. Odd number like this. Kind of. Change this and add this quick. This is how you come up with a design, decide which way you want to go. So we'll keep the eye in direction here a little bit. Slightly thinner profile. I do like to go thinner on these. More than I like. There we go. So now you can see, the wider we'll produce, this is an even jump too. We can add in singular blocks so we can get smaller. But this basically what we're looking for. Uh, what you're going to see happening here, this is a little thinner, a little shorter, and a little wider, and a little fatter. And honestly, the thinner and shorter lines up a little better with our top. Let's just put our top empty. We're going to carry through on the whole. We put that in. You can see how that'll look. Okay. And I think I still like the smaller one a little better. Smaller, a little too much, I think. I like that steep angle. We're going to set the time today. <clears throat> okay. Who are you talking to? Now I'm recording and I accidentally clicked the button. Oh. Uh, so, go. And this is our two basic designs. Personally, I think we should go with the smaller one. I'm going to get off right now. And I'm going to do a little bit more detailing inside these so that we can see. And, okay, I'm back. And I've come up with a couple of quick designs, so let's just set this time today real quick. And you'll be able to see it pretty clearly shortly. And you look, just a couple of different designs. We need to choose which one we want. I wanted to show you this to the actual recording, so that way you guys would be able to pick. All right? Well, guys, that's it for today. Get back at this in the next little video.